Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm taking a look at the last Travax wallet I need to review, at least as of the recording of this video, and that is the Travax Armored Summit. Let's check it out. Before we get started, I have another giveaway. So I have this Trayvax Summit wallet, not the Armored Summit, with the purple nylon webbing. So if you wanna win this bad boy right here, I'll have all the information down below in my description box. All right, so the Trayvax Armored Summit came in this plastic bag here. And inside the plastic bag, it looks like I have some extra nylon webbing here. And on the back side of this insert, it looks like we have some instructions on how to tighten and loosen that nylon webbing. All right, so I'll give you guys a nice close up of the Trayvax Armored Summit with the stone gray nylon webbing here. And let me take out the welcome card. And while you guys are checking this out, Let's talk features. All right, so the Armored Summit is made up of two heat resistant steel plates. And those steel plates have a matte black melanite finish. And then used to hold your cards in is this mil spec nylon webbing. And you can get the webbing in four different colors. There's a shadow black, an OD green, a coyote brown, and then the color that I have right here, stone gray. It can hold between one to seven cards and one to five bills back here in this integrated money clip. And because the Armored Summit's made up of steel plates, it naturally blocks RFID. On the back steel plate, we have an attachment point for a lanyard, carabiner, or key ring. And on this floating steel plate right here in the front, yeah, you guessed it, there's a bottle opener. And right under that bottle opener, there's a nice big ID window, but we'll go over that when I start stuffing some cards in here. And just like every other Trayvax wallet, everything is sourced and made right here in the USA. And it comes with their 65 year heirloom warranty. All right, now let's talk dimensions. All right, so the Armored Summit comes in at 3.55 inches, not counting the attachment point, by 2.26 inches. And they don't mention what it weighs on their website, so let's weigh it. All right, so no cards in it, let's plop it on the scale. All right, so 2.5 ounces and 2.5 ounces comes out to be exactly 70 grams. So still relatively lightweight for two plates made of steel. All right, now let's take a closer look at the Armored Summit here. So of course we have this floating plate here that will just go on top of your cards once they're inserted. And inserting your cards is really easy because we have these steel bumpers right here on the side and the bottom to make sure they fit in properly. And once the cards are in there, you start tightening up this nylon webbing right here at the buckle. And yes, this buckle does double as the money clip. So the easiest way I found to do this is once the cards are in there, you just start rolling this nylon webbing with your thumb, either pushing it to the right to make it tighter or pushing it to the left to loosen it up. So let's try that right now. They say it can hold between one and seven cards. So let's grab seven cards. And inserting the cards is really easy. Just lift up on that nylon webbing and push all your cards down until they hit that bottom steel bumper there. And you can see right now, those seven cards fit pretty nicely in there. But of course, that's without the steel plate. So you can still get an extra card in there if you don't wanna have this steel plate inserted. But I do wanna have that steel plate inserted. So stick it in there as so, and it should fit in pretty nicely. And then make sure it's all nice and snug in there. So just take your finger and start rolling some of that nylon webbing to make sure it's nice and snug. And then I have this little bit at the end there. I just want to tug on it just to make sure there's nothing loose at all. And I'll tell you what, that's pretty solid. So we have this nice big ID window right here so we can easily see what card is next as we're flipping through them. So as you'd expect, getting that top card out is just as easy as you think. Now putting that top card back can be a pain. So what I found to be easiest is lift up that top plate and then lift up with your card and should slide right back in. And now let's check out getting the cards out from the middle like I showed you earlier. Just flip through whatever card you want. Let's grab that one. Yeah, super easy. And now let's try getting that card back into the middle here. So. I found when I'm flipping through these cards, this floating plate sometimes gets in my way. Because I'm missing a card, now it's just loose and floating around in there. So just push it back if it happens to get in your way and navigate to where I got the card, stick it back in there, push it down. Now let's try my favorite method, the fan method. So 
take them all out at once and fan through them. Yeah, it works just fine. And I'm not really sure if this is intended for that, but we have this little small window right here on the top. And what I found was when I'm flipping through the cards, if I put my thumb there, it holds that plate in the place while I'm flipping through the cards. So if you're having issues with this plate floating around when you're flipping through them, just put your thumb right there. It's a nice little area to rest your thumb and hold that plate securely. All right, so what about this money clip back here? So they said between one and five bills, so let's start with five. So I'm gonna take those bills, fold them into quarters here, and let's see how easy it is with the five bills. And that nylon webbing looks like it's getting in the way right there. So lift it up and... All right, so yeah, so technically it does hold five bills folded into quarters, but that would be the absolute max because getting those five bills in there was a little tough. Just for the heck of it, take one out and try it again. And yeah, four bills is a lot easier. And just for the heck of it, because I know someone's gonna ask, how does it perform with just one bill? Will it hold? And there's one bill. It's a little loose. Let me just try to shake it. See if that falls out. Ah, it didn't move at all. So yeah, even though it's a little loose right there, I just shook the heck out of it and it didn't even move. And guys, this is one of Trayvax's most minimalist wallets. I mean, look how thin this wallet is with seven cards in there. So I'm just gonna take a quick measurement right here and see how thick this wallet is with seven cards. And it's point three, five inches. So like I said, this is extremely thin. All right, let's talk about what I like about this wallet. I like the fact that it's one of Trayvax's most simple wallets. And even though it's simple in design, it's extremely functional. I've been using this wallet for the last couple days and I've had no issues getting my cards in and out of this wallet. I like the fact that it's easily adjustable with this nylon webbing and this buckle back here. So if I only need to carry five cards, I just take two of them out and it's super easy to adjust this nylon webbing back here. I like that they give you an attack attachment point up here. And yes, 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 I like that they give you an integrated bottle opener right there. You guys know I love Trayvax wallets and I love minimalist wallets and this is the most minimalist wallet you're gonna get out of Trayvax. Well, of course, that's not counting the actual Summit, which is basically an armored Summit without that top plate. And of course, I love the fact that it's made here in the USA and it comes with a 65 year heirloom warranty, but that's literally a like on every single Trayvax wallet I've ever used. And also you can turn your Armored Summit into the Summit Notebook. So I did this review over a year ago and if you guys haven't seen it, I'll put a link right below in my description box. But basically all this is, is the Summit wallet right there. But instead of having this plate right here on the front, you just thread that nylon webbing through this leather sleeve. And then you can turn your Trayvax Summit into the Trayvax Summit notebook. And it comes with this notepad that you can write underwater and it comes with the Trayvax pen. All right, let's talk about what I don't like about this wallet. So if I had to pick a dislike, it's sometimes when I'm flipping through the cards, this top plate floats around a little bit too much. But like I said, that's easily fixed if you hold your thumb right here in the slot and flip through your cards. It's not really an issue. And even though I like the fact that they doubled this buckle as a money clip back here, it's not my most favorite money clip in the world. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Trayvax Armored Summit? I've had this wallet for about a year now, and I don't know why it took me so long to get around to it. So if you guys wanna check out the Armored Summit for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. And I do have a special code just for my subscribers. You can get 10% off anything on their website. And I'll put that code below in my description box as well. And guys, don't forget, I am giving away this Trayvax Summit with the purple nylon webbing here. And just like everything else, I'll put all the rules down below. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!